Welcome to the Literary Digest. Please subscribe to the channel or give a like and comment on this video if you find it helpful to help us reach more people. Ever had a brilliant idea but didn't know how to turn it into reality? Well, this summary is your roadmap to becoming a successful innovator. Drawing on decades of experience in the pharmaceutical and technology industries, it offers a practical step-by-step -step guide to transforming ideas into marketable products. You'll discover the eight laws of innovation, learn how to cultivate a problem-solving mindset, and gain insights from real-world case studies. From identifying customer needs to perfecting your pitch, this summary will empower you to bring your ideas to life. So, whether you're an entrepreneur, a corporate executive, or simply someone with a passion for creating change, your path to success starts here. Chapter 1, Law 1, Solve the Right Problem Have you ever wondered why some innovations succeed while others fail? The key often lies in identifying the right problem to solve. This is what we might call the first law of innovation. Successful innovation must solve a real, significant problem. Consider the rapid development of COVID-19 vaccines. When the pandemic hit, researchers asked crucial questions. Why does vaccine development typically take years? Could we safely complete the process in under a year? By breaking down the problem into its component parts, testing, approval, manufacturing, and distribution, they were able to innovate at unprecedented speed. To apply this principle in your own work, start by asking better questions. Instead of jumping to solutions, spend time thoroughly examining the problem from multiple angles. Reframe it from different stakeholders' perspectives. Look for analogies to similar challenges that have been solved in other fields. One effective technique is deconstruction. Breaking a complex problem down into its fundamental elements. Elon Musk calls this first principles thinking. Start by identifying your assumptions, then systematically question each one. Only after you've deconstructed the problem should you begin creating new solutions from scratch. Remember, innovation isn't just about big, world-changing breakthroughs. Even small improvements can make a significant impact. Talk to people throughout your organization to uncover pain points and inefficiencies. Keep a notebook to record your observations. Draw diagrams to add dimension to the problems you encounter. By staying curious and focusing first on thoroughly understanding problems before rushing to solutions, you'll be well on your way to more successful innovation. Chapter 2, Law 2, Explore All Solutions Contrary to popular belief, the key to successful innovation isn't just coming up with one good idea. It's generating multiple solutions and selecting the best among them. This is the essence of the second law of innovation. Every great innovation starts with at least three good ideas. Consider the case of a team tasked with improving medical devices for diabetes patients. Initially, they struggled to come up with impactful ideas. The breakthrough came when they shifted their focus to understanding the end user's experience. By bringing in a diabetes nurse educator to share real patient stories, the team gained new insights that sparked their creativity. To apply this principle in your own work, start by using structured methods for idea generation. One effective technique is the Big Idea Vignettes method, where you rapidly sketch visual depictions of potential solutions. Another approach is creating storyboards to illustrate how your idea fits into the user's world. These methods help you produce a wide range of possible solutions quickly. Idea generation should follow five basic rules. First, think visually by using whiteboards, sticky notes, and drawings to capture ideas. Second, suspend judgment, deferring criticism of ideas until later in the process. Third, go for quantity. A typical brainstorming session might target 60 to 100 ideas in an hour. Fourth, make sure everyone is heard. And lastly, stay focused on the topic. You can use a parking lot for jotting down tangential ideas. 
Once you have a pool of ideas, narrow them down to the top three solutions that best fit the problem. This ensures you have enough variety to test different approaches without getting bogged down in too many options. Remember, it's not about having one perfect idea. It's about exploring many possibilities to find solutions that are truly great. Chapter 3, Law 3, Go Minimal Have you ever had a brilliant idea for a new product, but weren't sure how to turn it into reality? The key is to start small and learn fast. This is the essence of the third law of innovation. Figure out your MVP. MVP stands for Minimum Viable Product, the simplest version of your product that can still solve the core problem for your customers. It's not about creating a perfect, fully featured product right away. Instead, it's about getting something basic into customers' hands as quickly as possible, so you can start learning what works and what doesn't. Consider the story of Zappos, the online shoe retailer. When founder Nick Swinburne had the idea to sell shoes online, he didn't immediately build a complex e-commerce platform. His first MVP was a simple website where people could order shoes. Behind the scenes, Swinburne would manually buy the shoes from local stores and ship them to customers. This allowed him to test if people were willing to buy shoes online before investing in inventory and complex systems. To create your own MVP, start by identifying the core problem you're solving and the simplest way to address it. There are many ways to test out your MVP. You can sketch out your customer experience on paper and cardboard to simulate the product. Or create a simple website with a landing page to gauge interest. Like Zappos, you can also try the Wizard of Oz method, manually fulfilling orders behind the scenes. You can also opt for a concierge product, providing a high-touch, personalized service to a few customers. The key is to choose an MVP that allows you to learn the most about your customers' needs with the least amount of time and resources. Remember, the goal is to make your MVP unique. Remember, the goal of an MVP is learning, not perfection. Focus on solving the smallest possible problem that customers will pay for. Don't get bogged down in extra features or trying to beat the competition. Instead, use your MVP to gather real-world feedback and iterate quickly. By embracing the MVP approach, you can reduce risk, save time and money, and increase your chances of creating a product that truly resonates with customers. Chapter 4, Law 4, Listen to Your Customers Successful companies seem to know exactly what their customers want. Their secret lies in the fourth law of innovation, listen to your customers. This principle emphasizes the importance of thorough customer research in the innovation process. The key idea is simple. Before launching a new product or service, you should talk to at least 100 potential customers. Why 100? This number provides a statistically significant sample and ensures you're getting diverse perspectives. It's also a challenging target that forces innovators to push beyond their comfort zones and preconceptions. To apply this law effectively, use a mix of research methods including surveys, one-on-one -on -one interviews, and small group discussions. Focus on asking the right questions to understand the customer's work, pain points, current solutions, and reactions to your idea. Seek diverse perspectives by including customers from different demographics, geographies, and user types. Finding 100 customers can be challenging, but it's crucial for validating your idea. Be persistent in your search and listen openly to feedback, even if it's not what you want to hear. Remember, the goal isn't just to confirm your existing ideas. It's to truly understand your customers' needs and pain points sometimes before they even realize them themselves. This deep understanding allows you to create products and services that truly resonate with your target market. This way, you can avoid the pitfalls of building something nobody wants. Instead, you'll be well-positioned to create innovations that solve real problems and delight your customers. Chapter 5, Law 5, Pivot at Any Point 
Have you ever wondered how successful companies adapt to unexpected challenges? The secret lies in their ability to pivot, to change direction without losing sight of their ultimate vision. This is the essence of the fifth law of innovation. Pivoting isn't about admitting failure. It's about being agile and responsive to market feedback. Consider the story of Prava Health in Bangladesh. When COVID-19 hit, they quickly shifted from in-person clinics to telehealth services, demonstrating how a well-executed pivot can turn a crisis into an opportunity. The key to successful pivoting is staying close to your customers. You need to understand their changing needs and be willing to adjust your strategy accordingly. This might mean refocusing your product on a different market segment, like the guitar company that began marketing to children rather than adult campers. Or completely overhauling your business model, as Netflix did when moving from DVD rentals to streaming. Timing is crucial when pivoting. Don't cling to the status quo out of fear or pride. If your current strategy isn't working, be bold enough to change course. However, when you do pivot, move quickly and decisively. Communicate clearly with all stakeholders to maintain confidence and credibility. Remember, a pivot isn't a failure. It's a necessary course correction that can lead to greater success. By embracing the ability to pivot, you're not just surviving in a changing market. You're positioning yourself to thrive. Chapter 6, Law 6, Have a Plan Developing a solid business model and plan is crucial for turning innovative ideas into successful ventures. This is the sixth law of innovation. Have an actionable business plan. It should serve as a comprehensive roadmap for your business, outlining your strategy, market analysis, financial projections, and operational details. A good business plan should include the following. A clear problem statement and solution. Thorough market research and customer analysis. Realistic financial forecasts. Strategies for marketing and sales. Operational details. And risk assessment with mitigation plans. However, many entrepreneurs fall into common traps when creating their plans. These pitfalls include forgetting the importance of cash flow. Escaping problem and solution validation. Making incomplete plans. Conducting inadequate research and having unrealistic assumptions. To develop a successful business plan, start by using a template to ensure you cover all necessary aspects. Polish your plan to make it professional and compelling. And do thorough research to back up your claims and assumptions. Seek feedback from trusted advisors and potential stakeholders. And consider hiring a professional to help refine your plan. Tools like the Business Model Canvas can be invaluable in visualizing your strategy. Make sure that as your business evolves, so does your plan. Remember, a business plan is a living document that should be revisited and updated regularly. It's not just about securing funding. It's about creating a clear vision and strategy for your innovative venture. Chapter 7, Law 7, Manage the Risks Successful innovators and entrepreneurs are risk-takers. But they're not fools. The seventh law of innovation is about managing risk. This involves carefully weighing potential risks, assessing their impact, building contingency plans, and demonstrating the resilience to pivot when necessary. To do so, it's crucial to understand the difference between risk and uncertainty. While uncertainty involves unknowns, risks can be assessed and planned for. There are four common types of business risks. First are uncontrollable risks, like natural disasters or pandemics. Second are strategic risks, like making plans related to business growth that fail to materialize. Third are manageable risks that include technical, operational, market, and financial risks. Lastly, there are reputation risks related to public disrespect, dishonesty, or incompetence. 
To effectively manage these risks, use tools like risk assessment matrices to prioritize and mitigate potential issues. This involves identifying risks, assessing their likelihood and potential impact, and developing strategies to address them. Financial planning and securing adequate funding is a key strategy to mitigating various risks. Exploring various funding sources for your business, including personal investments, friends and family, grants, and venture capital. Ultimately, the key to increasing the odds of success as an entrepreneur lies in being prepared, adaptable, and resilient. This includes having a clear vision, developing contingency plans, maintaining a balanced perspective, and learning from both successes and failures. By embracing proactive risk management, you can greatly increase your chances of long-term success. Chapter 8, Law 8 Pitch Perfectly The final law, the eighth law of innovation, emphasizes that when it comes to securing funding, the pitch must be perfect. Clear, compelling communication is paramount when presenting your innovative idea to potential investors. A well-prepared pitch is not just beneficial, it's essential for attracting the capital needed to bring your innovation to life. The key to a successful pitch lies in understanding your audience and tailoring your presentation accordingly. This means thoroughly researching potential investors and aligning your pitch with their investment criteria. A winning pitch should present a clear, well-organized vision, demonstrate a realistic return on investment within a reasonable time frame, and be concise enough to maintain investor interest, typically around 15 to 20 minutes. An optimal pitch deck consists of about 10 slides that cover crucial aspects, such as the problem being solved, the proposed solution, market research, competitive analysis, financial forecasts, and team qualifications. Your pitch deck should also explore various sources of capital, from personal investments to crowdfunding, angel investors, and venture capital, each with its own set of advantages and considerations. Non-traditional funding sources, such as grants from foundations or government programs, can be valuable options for certain types of innovations. Don't just go for the money, though. Find partners whose expertise and network can contribute to your innovation's success. The fundraising process typically spans about six months, so stay patient and come prepared. Practice your pitch, anticipate tough questions, and be ready to adapt your presentation as needed. Ultimately, securing funding for your innovation demands thorough preparation, strategic thinking, and flawless communication. Your pitch must be perfect because it's not just about the money. It's about convincing investors to believe in your vision and join you on your innovative journey. Final Summary this summary to the Innovation Mindset by Lorraine Hudson Marchand taught you the eight essential laws of innovation. The eight laws of innovation provide a practical framework for turning ideas into successful products. First, identify and solve the right problem. Generate multiple solutions and select the best one. Start with a minimum viable product to test your concept quickly. Listen to at least 100 potential customers to validate your idea. Be prepared to pivot based on market feedback. Develop a comprehensive business plan, including market analysis and financial projections. Manage risks by assessing their impact and creating contingency plans. And finally, perfect your pitch to secure funding. By following these laws, you'll greatly increase your chances of bringing successful products to market. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe to the Literary Digest for more videos like this one. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know what you found most helpful. Until next time, keep striving for success.